Latoya Luckett on releasing her first solo album 15 years ago. So, well, thank you, sis. So yeah, I'm headed, um, I'm headed back home. I just wrapped my mommy vacay. I'm missing my baby so much. But today is such a special day because 15 years ago today, I released my solo album, Matoya, my self-titled solo album that y'all eventually took to number one. So, um, yeah, I'm celebrating that. And I was like, I'm in the airport just chilling. I could go live and whatnot. Um, yes. How y'all doing? What's good, what's good, what's good? Everybody having a good Sunday? Yeah, God is so good. Thank you. These are my favorites, even though they're like, they're kind of heavy. Just like I don't mind it, because they're, they're like everything. <laughs> Sorry for the random, um, the random mask here. I'm in the airport, y'all. And I got to put on my KN95, but I'm in here. What's up? What's up? Obvious was your joint. Mine too, yo. When I tell you I wanted to make that like my second single, but unfortunately it didn't go that way. But Obvious was like the one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love that record. Yeah, it's been 15 years, y'all, since I put out my first, my debut solo album, LaToya. 15 years today, I did that. And I have to say this. Um, 15 years. Oh, Cedric! Let's see, let me see it go by. First of all, I'm gonna pin that comment real there. Pinning that comment. Um, but yeah, so crazy enough, if you know me, you already know, like, I never, it was never my desire, of course, to go solo. Um, it was kind of like the biggest fear of mine. But just to speak to conquering your fears, um, thank God I got out of my own way and um, just allowed myself to give in to what God had for me. And, um, I think me being so uncomfortable in moving forward in my solo career, I think it just helped to stretch me and grow me and grow my gift. And um, here we are, 15 years later, to the date, the release of my solo album. I can, I can say that I am so proud of myself, but I promise you, I was terrified to be those solo artists. So if you are being, if you're allowing fear to stunt your growth, do away with that. You've got to get over that. Um, because that, that feeling or sometimes that just, you feeling uncomfortable or outside of your comfort zone, um, it's stressing, stretching you to your purpose. It's stretching you to your purpose. So... I'm so glad, so, so, so glad that I allowed God, God to lead and I can sit here 15 years from the day my debut solo album came out and say, wow, we did that. Y'all did that. Um, um, can I pick anything? Um, no, I'm still nibbling on this. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yes, that's fine. Thank you. Um, but yeah, man, yeah, man. Oh, yeah, shout out to Regret. Love that record. That's album number. That was album number. Oh, Lord. That was album number two. <laughs> okay, yes. We need to get that album back on the streaming platforms. I am in touch with Capital. Y'all are welcome to uh, shout Capital out and be like, hey, yo, where's Toya's solo album? Um, thank you, Mommy. My mommy's in here. Mama Luckett. Mama Pam is in here. This mask is doing me. Um, and thank God that, like, I fought for Torn to be the first single because at the time, like, 
you had to, especially for the, the female solo artists or just anyone, the putting out the up tempos was like the way to go. And I was like, okay, that's cool and everything, but I want to put out something that people can relate to and something that people can feel. And Torn at the time, or well, still to this day, even um, Torn was that record that I connected to and that I felt. And I like when I got in the car, I would play that jank like it wasn't me singing. You know what I'm saying? Like I felt it so much. And I was like, if I feel this way about it, I, I know there's so many people out there that can relate to this or who are possibly going through the same thing or having the same emotions and so um I, I wanted i wanted a record that people connected to and torn was that record and y'all took that jank to number one so i appreciate you shout out to you um but yeah man 15 years today bro. 15 years today um i can say that i i took a leap 15 years ago today on this date um i think you can still get torn you can definitely get torn so for those of you uh that haven't heard my first single that i had ever put out 15 years ago um it's available now i mean it's available it's been available <laughs> but you can get it on all platforms uh it's still one of my favorite records love this record by the way, for those of you who are just joining us, I am in the airport. I am having, I just wanted to go live because I just wanted to shout out y'all for being so supportive and um, always supporting me, first of all. Um, but two, just to celebrate with y'all because 15 years ago today, I put out my first solo album, Latoya. And uh, I was like, wait, let me go and talk to my homies real quick. Let me log on. And it's like, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? <sighs> By the way, I just had the best mommy getaway vacay. I went to LA, I went to Cabo, I went to Las Vegas, and had the best time with some of the closest people to me. And um, I'm in Vegas right now, leaving to go back home. Uh, did a bit of karaoke last night, so I barely have a voice today. <laughs> Shout out to my cousin Tiffany, who's right here. I'm going to slowly turn the camera. She's probably not going to like that. Here she goes. Hi, Tiff. <laughs> I got her outside. My cousin don't come outside ever. And I got my cousin Tiffany to come outside with me. Thanks for tuning in to Nine Mag TV.